Hello and welcome to the podcast. If you are a regular listener, then I welcome you back. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you are a new listener, then welcome my friend. I hope you enjoy today's episode and if you haven't checked out the previous episodes, then I recommend you do so. In today's episode, I am going to be talking about types of breast reconstruction in the context of a mastectomy for cancer surgery. Now in the UK, if you have been recommended to have a mastectomy, which is the removal of the entire breast as part of breast cancer treatment, then you should be offered the choice to have a breast reconstruction. Some women may not choose to have any form of breast reconstruction, and that's absolutely fine. They will then opt out to have a simple mastectomy and go flat. However, for others, reconstruction may be something they would like to consider undertaking. The surgeon should have a thorough discussion with you, outlining the various options available. And in the UK, this is usually done by the breast cancer surgeon. The type of breast reconstruction that is best suited does depend on various factors, which include the biology of the cancer, the need for adjuvant treatments such as chemotherapy and or radiotherapy, your body shape and also your body size, whether you've had any previous surgery to your abdomen such as um, abdominal surgery or cesarean sections, um, gallbladder surgery, bowel surgery, and also your lifestyle and personal choice. Other factors that might play a role in the decision-making process would include smoking and having a high body mass index or BMI. The discussion about the best reconstruction options can be quite complex and I would recommend that you have several clinic consultations to discuss um, the options, the pros and cons to ensure that you have all your questions answered so that you, together with your breast cancer surgeon, finally decide which best um, option is suitable for you. You may also have a discussion with a plastic surgeon, depending on the type of reconstruction you have been recommended or you yourself have chosen. So when can you have a breast reconstruction? Well, you can have a breast reconstruction either in the immediate setting or delayed setting. So an immediate reconstruction will happen at the same time as your breast cancer surgery. You will have the mastectomy and at the same time, uh, once the mastectomy has been performed, we will construct a new breast. So that's an immediate breast reconstruction. A delayed reconstruction obviously happens at a later stage. So you will firstly have a mastectomy and then subsequently you can have the reconstruction um, six months or a few years even down the line. There are various reasons why women choose one over the other. Some women choose to have an immediate reconstruction because they would like to get all their surgeries out of the way. And also waking up without a breast mound is not something they would like to be faced with. So these women would opt out for an immediate breast reconstruction. It may also minimize the numbers of general anesthetics um, one may have, although this also does depend on the type of reconstruction that is planned. The downside of an immediate breast reconstruction, of course, would be that if you have any surgical complications such as a wound breakdown or a delayed wound healing, then this may delay any subsequent planned adjuvant treatment such as chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Some patients prefer to have a delayed reconstruction as it gives them time to deal with a cancer diagnosis. Having to think about the various options of uh, breast reconstruction, having just been diagnosed with breast cancer can be quite overwhelming and some choose not to think about this until much later on. So those who choose to have a delayed reconstruction will then have their mastectomy surgery and then usually six months or later can decide to have a delayed reconstruction. 
And so in the meantime, um, there would usually be given a breast prosthesis to be put in the bra to give a shape in the bra. One thing to um, consider is that if you do have a mastectomy and then need radiotherapy, then having an implant delayed breast reconstruction can be quite challenging. And this is because your skin will need to be slowly stretched with an expander in order to finally accommodate an implant. So radiotherapy post mastectomy may play a role in recommending what type of reconstruction may be right for you. Once you have decided on whether you would like to have an immediate or delayed reconstruction, then the next stage is choosing what kind of reconstruction you would prefer. Now, broadly speaking, breast reconstruction can be divided into implant-based reconstruction and autologous-based reconstruction. And this is essentially using your own body tissue. Let's talk about implant-based reconstruction first. This is the quickest surgery to perform and to recover from. Some hospitals may in fact perform this as a day case, which means that you do not need to stay overnight in the hospital and can go home the same day as your surgery. And most women are normally back to their normal selves within a month. An implant-based reconstruction will result with only one scar on the breast. The implant itself is normally placed underneath the pectoralis major muscle, which is the chest wall muscle that is lifted off the rib cage, and this is called subpectoral reconstruction. Sometimes surgeon may also use either a mesh or a special synthetic material called an acellular dermal matrix or ADM to cover the bottom part of the implant. Most recently, some surgeons are now placing the implant underneath the skin, only having wrapped the implant with an ADM, and this is called a prepectoral reconstruction. Implant surgery does require what is called maintenance surgery. We say this because breast implants do not last forever. And at some point in the future, the implant will need to be replaced. And this could be for a number of reasons, including a leaking implant, a ruptured implant, migration of the implant, and what's called capsular contracture, which is a thickening of the envelope of the breast over the implant, which can cause discomfort. When this surgery will need to happen is very impossible to predict. It's just something that you need to be aware that any form of implant reconstruction will need maintenance surgery. If you don't think an implant-based reconstruction is for you, then other options would be using your own body tissue or what is called autologous-based reconstruction. And this is essentially using certain parts of your body to recreate a breast mount. One of the first options would be a latissimus dorsi reconstruction. The latissimus dorsi muscle or the LD muscle is a large muscle on your back, which is placed actually over your scapula, extending down to your pelvic bone. This muscle works together with other muscles around your shoulder to help you do certain actions Things like pushing you out of a bed or a chair and pulling type actions, uh, for example, going up a ladder. The absence of this muscle, however, does not stop you from doing these activities in the future because other muscles around the shoulder will compensate and take over the, um, the function of the LD muscle. And you will also will have physiotherapy after the operation to help with this. In this type of reconstruction, the LD muscle is lifted off the rib cage at the back and it's tunneled through an opening in your armpit and then used to fashion a breast mount. You will have two scars, one on the breast and one on your back. The operation can take about four to five hours and occasionally an implant may be needed to boost the volume of the breast if the bulk of the muscle is not enough. The recovery time from this operation may take about six to eight weeks. The second option for um, using your own body tissue is what's called the Dieppe flap. So Dieppe stands for Deep Inferior Epigastric Perforator. And this is essentially the blood supply that keeps this particular flap alive and healthy. 
This reconstruction is the one that uses the fat and skin around your tummy or the abdomen. And some refer to this reconstruction as having a um, similar procedure to having a tummy tuck at the same time, which on one hand is true, but that should not be the only reason why this type of reconstruction is chosen over the other reconstruction types. The surgery is the longest to do, taking anything between five to six hours, and it's the longest to recover from, usually about two to three months. What happens is the skin and the fat and the diep vessels are detached from the body and then reattached to the vessels within your chest wall or your armpit. And that is why, because we need to use microsurgical techniques, that a diep based reconstruction is performed jointly between the breast cancer surgeon as well as the plastic surgeon. The reconstructed breast does feel the most natural. The majority of the time it works, only about 2-3% to fail. And the other positive side to this type of surgery is that you don't need any further maintenance surgery. However, as the stakes are high for the surgery, many surgeons won't operate on women who are either smokers or are overweight with a high BMI, as these two factors increases the risks of complications. A third possible flap that can be used is what's called the tug flap. So tug or T-U-G stands for transverse upper gracilis, and it's the most superficial muscle that is found in the upper inner part of the inner thighs. This muscle's function is to bring the thighs inwards, but its absence doesn't actually affect this movement. However, there is not a great deal of tissue bulk here and this reconstruction is suitable only if you want to achieve a small breast volume and do not wish or unable to have a diep based reconstruction due to previous abdominal surgery, for example. You will have two scars, one on the breast and the other along the upper inner part of your thigh, which is usually well hidden. The operation may take five to six hours and recovery may take six to eight weeks. So as I mentioned, the ultimate decision about which type of breast reconstruction most suitable for you does involve extensive discussions between you and your surgeon. Factors such as your lifestyle, the need for adjuvant treatment such as radiotherapy, your general health, and also a personal choice will finally determine which is the right choice for you. I hope this episode has highlighted the various options for a breast reconstruction. And if you want to learn more about it, then you can check out the blog post at www.mybreastmyhealth.com forward slash breast reconstruction. Thank you so much for listening. And if you did enjoy this and you have derived value, then I'd be grateful if you could leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. And what this does is that it actually makes the show more discoverable for people. And hopefully it can spread the word and help others at the same time. And if you want to check out the show notes, please go and head to www.mybreastmyhealth.com forward slash episode seven.